Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Alex. Um, I'll probably be the main one you're seeing recording, doing stuff on the channel, all that. Um, Jack Wine Garage is the channel name. I'm Alex. Uh, I say we'll be seeing some other people. We'll have some other introductions for when uh, we got other people in the videos. Right now, this is just as you'll see from the title. Uh, it's going to be an intro video slash walk around of my vehicle, my daily driver. Um, what's basically what I'm going to be wanting to do is show you guys obviously what it is uh, Maybe even talk about a little bit as to why I have it um, What I want to do with it uh, The plans for it in the future what's already done right now as it sits uh, today um, Stuff like that uh, do a walk around Show you everything that's on it. Like I said talk about things I'm going to do things that I already have done the history of the car is what I've, as far as I've owned it, I actually haven't owned it very long. Uh, I'll get into that later. But uh, like I said, this is pretty much just the intro slash walk around intro to the channel. Uh, basically, uh, you can read the description of the channel. I typed one out, it's uh, pretty lengthy, but I want everybody to kind of get the gist of what's going on here. Um, basically, to sum it up the description of the channel, what it really is is, like, uh, like it says, is a bunch of car guys, me, my friends, we all like cars, we all like working on cars, we like modifying cars. You know, I said we all work on cars, um, we all do maintenance on cars, but to our own personal vehicles, we do like modifying them to our own specific uh, specifications of whatever our opinion is that we like on our vehicles. And uh, that's a lot of what you'll be seeing is uh, us modifying our own cars, um, but you know, obviously we can't fill up. I mean, I, I don't know how often I plan on uploading videos at this point it might not even be once a week it might be once every other week it won't be a whole lot and i say this is just for fun uh, and the other reason is uh i don't know how much content we're going to have right now to be able to upload um like i said a lot of the channels probably going to be on modifications like modifications to my car modifications to devin's or ben's car that they have or other friends i have that have cars whenever we do modifications try to record a lot of that but uh but we're also going to be uploading even just do-it-yourself stuff, like simple things you can do, uh, showing how to change brakes, oil changes, uh, fixing oil leaks, uh, diagnosing problems. Uh, we'll do little stuff like that, so it's not going to be just modifying our vehicles, but it's going to be showing you how to even maintain your, your own vehicle, uh, how to do, how to work through problems, maybe like diagnostic problems, check engine lights, oil leaks, stuff like that, running issues. Uh, being as that we do work at a repair uh, automotive repair shop we have accessibility to all those kind of tools for doing that and so that's why I also want to help show other people is uh, how to maintain their cars and like I said we'll be modifying cars so we'll show you how to add modifications to your cars and stuff like that but uh it's mainly I guess kind of the gist of the channel what's gonna the content I want everybody to know the content first because you know everybody obviously people are gonna subscribe to channels that they're gonna be interested in whatever the video upload is you're not gonna if you're not interested in something I'm not gonna upload I don't expect you to subscribe and that's fine you know that's just how it works so I'd want to be upfront with everybody to in the channel intro of the content I'll be uploading so everybody knows ahead of time so Whoever watches this will know what to expect later on with other uploads. 99% of the time it's going to be all about cars, modifying cars, fixing cars, maintaining your cars, all that good stuff. Uh, <clears throat> I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, just a second here, I'll uh, switch over to, uh, we'll be outside the car. I'll, by the title of the video, you'll be able to know what car I already drive, but I know obviously I haven't said yet, And but I'll be getting ready to show you in just a second here and we'll do the walk around and y'all can see what I drive every day all right there it is that's my daily driver my pride and joy I guess you could say this is a 1994 Acura Integra it is the GSR model which means it has the B18C1 motor that is VTEC uh, some of the other May, most of the other models, with the exception of the Type R model of the Integras, none of them actually had uh, VTEC, even though that is a popular uh, modification for other people to do to their vehicles. Uh, there are other Integras that don't have VTEC, 
there are ways to add it uh, that obviously helps with a uh, higher end power um, and such as that uh, it's a pretty popular modification people do but uh, this car came with it from the factory I said is the GSR model it was the uh, top model you could get with the exception of the uh, type R model that wasn't available until later years though I believe 97 98 it was available I think they skipped 99 and uh, 2000 2001 it was available and then that was the 2001 was the ending year of production of the Integra they in the United States it switched over to being the Acura RSX maybe other people have heard of that uh, if not, uh, well, in Japan, it was continued to be called the uh, uh, Integra, although in Japan it also always started out as the Honda Integra. Acura was for the uh, US market. Uh, gonna go on the walk around now, kind of let you know some history on it, how I got to uh, owning this car, modifications that are done to it, and some modifications maybe that I plan on doing in the future. Um, as you can see, uh, there's four headlights. The outsides are uh, low beams, insides are high beams. I didn't do this, previous owner did, but the uh, high beams are uh, tinted in a yellow film. Uh, they seem to do a, a pretty decent job. Uh, problem with this headlight is, should show up on the camera pretty well, I think. There's water in this headlight. I've taken it out once and resealed it already. Um, it worked for a while, I got water in it again. I don't know if I missed a spot or what. Uh, plan on fixing that. Uh, possibly actually even today later probably not in, in this video but uh I'm gonna have some spare time later I'll probably pull the headlight out and uh, blow it out with a heat gun get the uh, condensation out and then try resealing it again uh, I'm gonna start at the front end of the car where we are now work my way back then we'll work in the interior and then may look at the engine bay last um, it's got there's a couple different blinker covers you can get on integras there's full amber where they'll be completely yellow there's full clear and then these seem to have a i don't I haven't seen these very much that are on this model uh it's more like a clear lens with it with an amber uh case in the back uh i haven't decided yet if i like these better or the full clear lens uh right now i'm going to stick with these because i don't mind them uh i think they look pretty good uh, this car, also done by the previous owner, not myself, does have an added aftermarket front lip all the way on the lower part of the bumper. Sorry, my shadow's kind of getting in the way of the picture frame there. Um, like I said, previous owner did that, not me. Uh, I do like the looks of it though. Definitely going to keep that on the vehicle. Um, I guess you can see these. Uh, does have aftermarket wheels on it. Um, white on the red car wasn't my first choice. Uh, I don't mind it. It's grown on me. I got these wheel when I bought the car. It came with the factory uh, Integra GSR uh, Fat Five rims, is what they call them. Uh, they're 15 inch wheel. Uh, I did get these. These are Rota slips. I I think their original color was more of a silver. I think somebody had painted them white. Uh, it wasn't too bad to begin with. I, I would imagine, but they've gotten a little bit. I haven't really curb rashed them, just more like a rock chips kind of all over them. They're a little dirty too. It's almost impossible to get these white rims clean. But I got them actually for free with the, I mean, the white Rota slip with the Bridgestone Potenza tires on them. It's a RE uh, model of the tires of Bridgestone Potenza RE 760. I don't know if that'll show up on the camera. Well, I got them for free, um, so I couldn't complain. I, you know, took them. Uh, put them on the car. I think they do look better than the factory wheel. I do eventually My my absolute favorite wheel for the Integra that I do plan on eventually getting uh, is the uh, Enki RPF1 um, That is probably my favorite wheel I ever see on Integra and one day I will own them for right now These rotor slips will do the job um, As you can see inside the wheel it has drilled and slotted rotors uh, it actually has them front and back. They are uh, password JDM rotors. Not sure on the pads. I didn't do the rotors or the pads. They were that way when I bought it. Uh, seem to do the job though. They break really well. No fade. I uh, have been enjoying them. They do do what they're supposed to do. Uh, I guess this car isn't all good. I don't know how well it will show up in the picture here. You can see there is fading of the paint on the hood. 
Um, it's not awful, awful, but it's definitely visible. I do plan on painting the whole car eventually. The mirrors are kind of bad. I have an extra set of mirrors and an extra spoiler on the back. I'm gonna have a body shop uh, paint them to uh, color match the car. That'll kind of help, but the roof and the uh, the hood are kind of bad. I'll get the whole car painted eventually, but uh, it's actually pretty good shape. I mean, for a 1994 car is about, you know, 24, 25 years old at this point. Uh, looks pretty good for its age. I. You know, personally, I think that. Um, I did myself take the wiper arms off, uh, both fronts and the rear, and uh, painted them. They were kind of, paint was peeling, looked kind of ugly. I just got a gloss black and some clear coat, painted them. They look halfway decent. Uh, trying to think of all the other stuff that's already done to the car. Um, the paint color, uh, I believe, is called Milano Red. It's M-I-L-A-N-O. I believe Milano red uh, I did not I don't know if you noticed on the front of the car I don't know if I showed it well there is a Honda badge this is an Acura Integral I said this is the US um, previous owner put Honda badges on it which I don't mind I actually always wanted to do that um, seems more true to its heritage that it really is a Honda um, I said I didn't do that but I don't mind it I will probably keep these bad this badging on it um, so this is the GSR model. They spe only specifically got the dual overhead cam VTEC badge because they are the only models that came with VTEC. This is a factory spoiler. This is the way they came. Like I said, it, it's also faded, kind of bad. I have a spare one though. I'm gonna get it painted and probably put it on there. So I painted the uh, rear wiper also. Um, just the gloss black with clear. Looks pretty good, looks better than it did. It was, uh, the paint was peeling pretty bad. Um, it's not much more on the outside to look at. It does have aftermarket exhaust on it. It's very quiet. It is the Tanabi. I don't know if it's going to show up the lighting's bad under the car. I don't have a flashlight on me. It is the Tanabi Medallion Touring Exhaust. It's a cat back exhaust. Uh, sounds good. It is very quiet. Um, I wish it was slightly louder. I may eventually it out and uh, put a test pipe in. Maybe try to make it a little louder. I don't like crazy loud though. We'll see how it sounds. If I don't like it, I can always put the cowlick converter back. Uh, this car does have factory Honda mud flaps on it. That was, I do have the original paperwork from when the lady bought this at brand new in 1994. And uh, she got the uh, the available optional mud flaps on it, front and rear. So that's a nice option. Uh, that's pretty much it on the outside of what has been modified. The suspension is completely stock. I have a pile of parts at my house. Tons and tons of suspension components, sway bars, tie rod ends, uh, coilovers, control arms, uh, rear tie bars, all kinds of stuff. You name it, I have almost every suspension component for this car aftermarket. I am waiting on one part, my rear toe arms. Or we're on back order from where I ordered them. Uh, they're supposed to be here at the end of this month. Uh, this is January. And then that's literally the last component I need. And I'm going to be changing the complete suspension on this thing. Front and rear. About the only thing I'm not going to touch is the front sway bar and end links. Um, I did get a rear sway bar and end links. I still have coilovers, front and upper control arms, front and back. Uh, hey, everybody, again. Um... This is going to kind of come in kind of abruptly to uh, the previous few seconds as to what you're going to see in the video. Uh, I end up having some issues with uh, the, the camera and some files and I lost some footage and uh, I kind of just got my my intro in the uh, what was left. I kind of I got most of the, the exterior walk around so I uh, won't be redoing that, but I, I'm basically going to have to, right now I'm going to be redoing my uh, interior walk around on the car uh, showing under the engine bay just because I, I lost some footage there, but uh, should be pretty quick. Not a whole lot to show. Um, got all my lanyards hanging from the mirror there. It's kind of going to be my thing with this car. I think everything, every time I buy new parts and uh, get a new new lanyard from a from a company it's going up on the rear view there um it's pretty stock inside uh, i do have a uh, black 
leather shift boot with red contrast stitching with a uh, skunk 2 shift knob. Uh, it's too much glare on the knob there, but it does have um, red contrast uh, um, numbering and you know the shift pattern listed on top there. Uh, it has an aftermarket single din radio, Pioneer radio, uh, hooked up with a Bluetooth and a mic. Um, uh, this car does have a, a full leather option on it. Uh, it's not something you saw a whole lot on the cars, um, at least until I know it was a little more, uh, it was more readily available, I think in the 97 and up models. But um, this was actually a dealership auto on this. This uh, leather was not from the factory after the car was brought to the dealership and the lady bought it. Um, she actually had the leather added on at the dealership, so that's kind of a, a cool thing. I've, I've got all the paperwork for all that, too. Uh, it's in decent condition. I, I mean, there's no rips, you know, tears. It's not even uh, wrinkled that bad, honestly. Um, I mean, it's got the matching, even matching uh, uh, the, the door panels there with the leather. Passenger, driver's seat, rear seat, and the, the armrest all wrapped in leather. Uh, pretty good condition for its age. It's got full Integra OEM floor mats all the way around, back and front. All still there, all in decent condition. Uh, pretty much that's it for the inside. Go real quick. Under the hood. Um, one thing is, uh, I know in the... Uh, earlier in the video a little bit I mentioned that the suspension was completely stock well that was before I upgraded the suspension and then I lost the footage of the video so I'm having to re-record it and I've already upgraded some of the suspension so don't mind the Megan Racing uh, strut bar here it's, I've got coilovers on it now and stuff that's all coming uh, probably once I upload this video probably in a week or two I'll get the, the suspension video edited and uploaded, and that, that's a full video of me doing the suspension on this car front to back. Uh, as for another time though, another discussion. Uh, pretty stock under here though. Um, the car did break down on me a couple days ago, it ended up being the coil and the distributor went bad. Ended up just going ahead doing a full tune up, it's got a new coil, new rotor, new cap, new wires, and new spark plugs. Uh, one of the, pretty much I guess, the only engine modification, if you could even not internally, it's completely stock and I may have stock airbox and everything, uh, but I, it does have a set of pace setter headers on it. Um, keep those for now. Uh, one day we plan on going turboed though, so that'll eventually have to be swapped out the turbo manifold. But I like it for now, it's staying. A uh, car has AC, power steering, you know, heat that's all still there, it all works. Um, Pretty much everything's stock. There's a sub uh, subwoofer amplifier in the back. There's the that's just the fuse for that um, going to the back. Uh, otherwise, pretty stock. Like I said, don't mind the Megan Racing uh, strut bar there. That technically wasn't there before when I said the suspension was stock. I'm just having to redo a little bit of the footage, get this video out. Um, uh, I do have HIDs in the low beams. That's what kind of some of this wiring here is. Uh, the the ballast and all that um one day uh i'll probably go through clean up some of the wiring tidy it up uh take it uh, run, i know you can run this headlight wiring in the fenders on both sides i'll probably go ahead and do that clean up some of that wiring uh i'll probably delete abs partially it's kind of for two reasons one it already doesn't work leaf down in there uh, because somebody um I, guess, I don't know how many previous owners ago did it, but all of the wheel speed sensors in the vehicle are gone. So that doesn't really, with those gone, ABS doesn't work. So with a, so kind of having this big ABS pump here, all these brake lines going all over the place is kind of useless. Plus, uh, when I turbo this thing, I'd like to mount like the catch can on the firewall over here, which would uh, not be possible right now with all the brake lines running in the back. So uh, probably go ahead and delete all those brake lines, all the ABS and all that. And then, um, uh, have some extra room on the firewall there for some stuff. Uh, that's pretty much it for the engine, baby.